Hello friends, in the last video we have discussed about monosaccharide and oligosaccharides. The link of the video is given in the description box. Today we are going to discuss about polysaccharides. If you like the video, then please share it and subscribe my channel. Polysaccharides or glycans contains more than 20 sugar units. They may be homopolysaccharides or heteropolysaccharides. Homopolysaccharides contain only one type of monomer while heteropolysaccharides consist of two or more different monomers. The polysaccharides may be classified into storage and structural types on the basis of function. The storage polysaccharides like starch in plants and glycogen in animals act as a storage form of energy while structural polysaccharides like cellulose in plants and chitin in animals act as a supporting structures. The heteropolysaccharides like peptidoglycan in bacterial cell wall and dermatin sulfate, chondroitin sulfate, etc. acts to support extracellular matrix in animals. They may be linear present in the cellulose or branched is present in glycogen. Starch. Starch consists of two glucose polymers that is amylose and amylopectin. The amylose is long unbranched polymer in which individual D-glucose residues are held together by alpha-124 glycosidic linkage while amylopectin on the other hand is highly branched in which alpha-126 glycosidic linkage is present after every 24 to 30 residues while unbranched residue have alpha-124 glycosidic linkage. Glycogen. Glycogen is also called as animal starch. It is highly branched like amylopectin, but the branching is more extensive after every 8 to 12 glucose residues. Glycogen is also more compact than starch. The glycogen is stored in liver where it acts to buffer the blood glucose level especially in between meals. While glycogen from skeletal muscle is used for muscle contraction. Glycogen has a single reducing end and multiple non-reducing ends at the end of branches. The glycogenolysis that is breakdown of glycogen simultaneously occurs from non-reducing ends of glycogen. Cells store energy in the form of glycogen instead of free glucose because glycogen is insoluble in water therefore it can be stored in anhydrous form while glucose being water soluble is associated with water leading to endosmosis and cell rupture. Also free energy change required for transport of glucose from extracellular fluid to intracellular fluid would be very large. Dextrans. These are the polysaccharides present in yeast and bacteria. They consist of glucose residue joined through alpha-126 glycosidic linkage while Branch points have alpha-123 glycosidic linkages. Dental plaques formed on teeth surface have dextrins. Synthetic dextrins like cephadax is used for fractionation of proteins. Cellulose is a structural polysaccharide of plant cell walls. They are linear unbranched polymers in which glucose residue are held by beta-124 glycosidic linkage. Most animals lack enzyme that can break beta-124 glycosidic linkage and thus cannot digest cellulose. Termites on the other hand are capable of digesting cellulose due to presence of symbiotic trichonympha. The cellulase is also produced by wood rot fungi, bacteria and protist present in rumen of ruminants like cattle, sheep, goat, camel etc. Chitin. Chitin is a linear homopolysaccharide in which n acetyl glucosamine residues are held together by beta-124 glycosidic linkage. Chitin is present in the exoskeleton of arthropods and fungi. Chitin cannot be digested by vertebrates. Bacterial peptidoglycan. Bacterial cell wall contains heteropolysaccharide in which alternating units like n acetyl glucosamine and n acetyl muramic acid are joined through beta-124 glycosidic linkage. Lysozyme present in bodily secretions and produced by some bacteriophages are capable of breaking the beta-124 glycosidic linkage. 
Penicillin and related antibiotics interfere in formation of cross links, resulting in osmolysis of bacterial cells. Agar, cell wall of some marine red algae and sea weeds contain agar, which is a mixture of sulfated heteropolysaccharides in which D galactose and L galactose are ether linked between C3 and C6. The agar consists of linear unbranched agarose and branched agaropectin. Agarose has an excellent gel forming ability which is exploited in electrophoresis of nucleic acid as well as culturing of bacteria. Certain drugs and vitamins are also coated with agar capsules which gets dissolved easily in stomach and metabolically inert. Glycosaminoglycans are the heteropolysaccharides present in the gel like extracellular matrix or ground substances of the multicellular animals that supports the cells and also facilitate diffusion. Glycosaminoglycans consist of repetitive disaccharide units. Among that, one monosaccharide is always either yanastyl glucosamine or yanastyl galactosamine and other may be uranic acid. Carboxyl group and sulfate group of uranic acid gives high density negative charge to glycosaminoglycans. Some example of glycosaminoglycans. First, hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid consists of about 50,000 repeating units of D-glucuronic acid and n acetyl glucosamine. These both monosaccharides are held together by beta-123 and beta-124 linkage. Hyaluronate act as a lubricant at joints gives jelly-like consistency to vitreous humors of eye and is an essential component of cartilage and tendons. Hyaluronidase is an enzyme secreted by some pathogenic bacteria and sperms during fertilization. Chondritin sulfate consists of about 20 to 60 repeating units of d acid and n galactosamine. This monosaccharide held together by beta-123 and beta-124 linkage. Chondritin sulfate provides tensile strength of cartilage, tendon, ligament and wall of avoda. Third, keratin sulfate. Keratin sulfate consists of about 25 repeating units of D-galactose and n glucosamine. D-galactose and n glucosamine held together by beta-124 and 123 glycosidic linkages. Cornea, cartilage, bone, horn, hair, ropes, nails, and claws consist of keratin sulfate. Heparin consists of about 15 to 90 repeating units of I do uronic acid and D glucosamine. This monosaccharide held together by alpha 1 to 4 glycosidic linkage. Heparin is a natural anticoagulant synthesized by mast cell and released into blood where it inhibits blood coagulation by binding to antithrombin. Purified heparin is added in blood sample collected for clinical use. Thank you.